Hey, can somebody tell me what the hell is wrong with Jaleon Love, man? What's wrong with this dude, man? You know, I got the TV screen paused now, at that, and I'm a, which I'm going to use the thumbnail of this video. At that, that silly-ass surprise reaction on his face and disbelief that he lost the fight. You know, this fight was so one-sided, man. Uh, I was not watching it live. I had it, I was, I had it paused for a while, and uh, the, it's, it's still not even on live TV. But uh, I mean, it was, it was so one-sided. I was judging the fight. Let's see, what round did I get to? Um, round six was the last round I, I watched. I had all six rounds of Peter Quillen, right? I'm looking at how Jay Leon love fighting, how he's on the back foot, how he doesn't like uh, feeling uh, Kid Chocolate's punch, you know. And uh, I'm like, man, why, why continue to sit through this shit? And I just stopped judging. I just fast forward through the fight, man. I, I fast forward. I was looking to see if anybody got knocked down or anything, and uh, went straight to the end of the fight, man, and uh, to, to the scorecards, you know, unanimous decision for. Uh, Kid Chocolate, I think one judge uh, had him winning 9-1, the other judge, the other two had him winning 8-2. Like, he was going to win all of the rounds on uh, my car, man. Um, round 1, 10-9 Quillen, slow round, but thought Quillen threw and landed more. Round 2, 10-9 Quillen. Uh, Quillen hurt Love against the ropes and let him off the hook. Quillen being stupid by talking and not focusing at times on Love. Round three, ten nine Quillen. Quillen landed more on love. Seems to be in love's head, torn with and talking to love. Round four, ten nine Quillen. Love doing nothing. LOL in caps. Looks like he's there just to collect the check. Round five, ten nine Quillen. Love on the bike big time. Doesn't want to get hit. Doesn't like to feel Quillen's power. Round six, I just had ten nine Quillen. I didn't even take notes because it was just pretty much the same thing. Uh, you know, uh, I did not know this fight was happening until like a few days ago. I saw it pop on the board, um, and I wanted to hop on that shit, uh, as soon as I could, man. Um, I think when I first saw it, I think when the, I think when the odds first opened, I think Quiller was on like a minus 160 favorite, man. That was an insult. He should have opened as a minus 300 favorite over G. Leon Love, man. Um, it eventually went up to, uh, 190, and then... By the time I got in on on Saturday, hell, it was it was all the way up to a minus two forty five, I believe, uh, for Kid Chocolate to win, man. And even that was still a deal, man. Uh, Kid Chocolate, a former uh, world champion with power, uh, Jay Leon Love, man, it will never be a world champion. Never been on that level. Uh, overhyped, overrated. You know, uh, this guy uh, was protected uh, by. Uh, uh, Mayweather promotions, um, you know, he just seemed to be like, he just seems to be a, a athletic guy who tries to, uh, mimic Floyd's style, man, you know, thinking that he can, he can use Floyd's stance and defense and punch style and shit, and he can win fights, you know, you know, uh, you know, his, his heart, he, he does not seem to be a real fighter, man, he's not a real fighter, he, maybe he was an athlete from another sport who tried to, uh, be a boxer, man, but, you know, he needs to get out, man. You know, he's hit, he's hit his ceiling. He's not going to get any better. Uh, he's not going to be a world champion, man. You know, J. Leon Love, uh, I've been betting against this guy. Uh, hell, ever since uh, he lost, I wish I would have been when he lost because I, I was not high on him at that point. You know, I just uh, did not know he was fighting. That guy, that fight kind of, uh, you know, snuck up on me. But, you know, ever since that loss, when he got knocked out, they have put him in the ring with a uh, very weak opposition, man. Where he's been like more than a ten to one favorite in these fights, man. You know, fighting these journeymen and shit, man. Padding his record, trying to get his confidence and shit. You know, just a big padded record, man. Um, this guy ain't the goods, man. He ain't the goods, and uh, you know, I, I bet against him all the time, you know. Uh, so you know, Jaylen Love, my advice for you, man, is to hang it up, man. You know, whatever you got going on outside of boxing, if you got another career or whatever other interest, you need to pursue that shit, man. You know, boxing is not for you. You know, um, you know, you, you if you really th think that you won that fight, you really need, need to get out of the sport, man. Really. 
because uh, you was doing nothing in that fight, man. Absolutely nothing. You, you were surprised thinking that you won. You better you better see in the post-fight press conference that you were just playing around, that you were joking, trying to be funny and shit. You know, if if Floyd and the people that maybe other promotions care about this guy, they tell him uh, that, that hey, it's over, man. That's it. You know, you need to, you know, you need to let it go, man. Do something else. So, you know, I think that's it, guys. Uh, and if he fights again, I will keep betting against him, man. Even if he fights a journeyman, you know, even if he fights a guy with with a bunch of losses, I'll, I'll bet against his ass, man. With high odds in, in his favor. I'll take that, take that big on the dog, man. In, in case uh, you know, he loses, which he could. So, and as far as uh Peter Quillen goes, look, he uh, at times he he seemed to be a bit uh stuck in the mud in this fight, uh a bit hesitant, um not that accurate, uh you know, not letting his hands go as much as he should have, you know, and uh having that back and forth with Floyd, man, you know, that shit was getting on my nerves, man. Uh, he ended up getting caught with some shit doing that, you know. He should have made it a goal to put this guy away, man. You know, he of course he looked at Jay Leon Love's a tune up. That's why he took this fight, man. He 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 knew what this guy was, and uh, but he should have made it a point to get this guy out of there, man. You know, Jay Leon Love would feel the power, and he he was on his bike, man. You know, he should he should have he should have hunted this guy down, stalked this guy, and got him out of there, man. You know, so. Uh, I think I think Peter Quillen needs at least uh at, at least two more tuna fights before he fights somebody serious as in like a top five guy, you know. Um, at, at best, uh, he needs to fight somebody in the lower top ten, uh, you know. But he needs I think he needs somebody else kind of like around a Jay Leon level, maybe a little bit above, kind of slowly work his way back up, man. But um, he I think he needs to you know, do do a little bit better, man. I saw some rust, so, you know, maybe some hesitance, you know, some uh, being stuck in the mud a little bit, so, uh, yeah, he needs to get some tune-ups, man, so, uh, that's it, guys, um, you know, easy money, and um, I will be watching, uh, forget the, the, the Devin Alexander, Andre Berto fight, I don't give a damn about that fight, um, I will be watching uh, UFC and uh, HBO Boxing here uh, coming up. So that's it, guys. Uh, and hopefully, unless I fall asleep or some shit, I will be back to talk about those. So uh hope you guys are doing well. Enjoy the fights. And I will check in with y'all soon, man. Thanks for watching.